And it's funny again. I'm li literally doing the same thing. I just thought about it as they come out. The videos, um, the other videos, are uploading on my. And I'm doing the same thing, but literally, I just forgot about something. I didn't finish. I just thought about something. My, what I was saying was, Obama. They were telling him how they set him up. There's no way you're going to lose. Oh, that he's going to win. You know who the Biden or Clinton was going to win, right? In 16, or who was running? Who was the Clinton? Clinton was going to win in 16. So we can do this, and nobody will know. But even like I said, even though he. By then he got eight years, so he know you know you definitely know better. But he be like, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, wasn't he a law constitution professor? So he know about Watergate. He was a kid, matter of fact, wasn't it? Because he was in college, but but he was like a teenager when Water Watergate happened. So he definitely he know better. He definitely know better. So and that's why the chick, the Susan Rice chick, you know, they when they was laughing at her a couple of months ago. Her emails when she, if you're in the military, you could tell what she's trying to say by the book. And we did, I did, and everybody's like, why, you already have to be in the military. Why would you deliberately say, like a memo to yourself, note to self, basically saying, if I ever get caught, you know, <laughs> I did everything by the book, you know. Uh, I follow, so you know, if you military, hey, we follow SOP on this maneuver because you expect that somebody to get fucked up. You know, you know, it's basically, you know, you fucking up. You as the team leader, you know, you ain't supposed to be doing this shit, but you got to do it. You just follow an orders. And like I said, normally you don't get no orders like that. So that's why you like shit. You covering your own ass. That's that's what they teach you. That's what they teach you. You know, not but not the. It wasn't, it was really just in training. You cover your own ass to teach you, you know, to be proficient, you know, this shit like that. And that's literally this chick, you know, I, I you know, I'm typing. This, <laughs> I, you know, this, I did everything. SOP. She didn't say SOP. She just said by the book. She's not military. I, did, you know, I followed standard operating to the procedure to the letter. You know, she is. She anticipating that court martial. Or, or even if it's just an Article 15, you know, bad counseling statement. I, I, <laughs> she, I did everything, son, like I was supposed to. I, I I had no choice, so I, please, I you know, baby, exactly, please, I I was just <laughs> I was just I did everything by the book. To anybody who reads this email in the future, yeah, I mean, shit, right there. But that's what basically what she's saying, you know, shit. <laughs> come on, come on, sir. You know, she's talking to the company commander. Come on, I, I, I did everything. Look, read my letter I wrote. Why'd you write that letter? <laughs> you, know <what> that? <laughs> you knew something was wrong. <laughs> Why would you do that? So, I, I don't, well, he told me to do. But anyway, I'm just being funny. But it's true. It's true. There's this whole thing, you know, they're, they're fucked. They're still, they're, they got their people. The Joy Reid, she did a video. It's funny, I was talking about her. She did another video yesterday with her her hero, Mad Max. And then, you know, they try to go in about, you know, that maybe, oh, you go, y'all attacking black women. See, that's why we had, like, no, no. Like I said, you're, you can't use the black women defense when you're in positions like you're in, you know. Even a journalist. You're a journalist. You got to be able to take the heat, you know. Didn't, did, who was that that got in trouble for lying? Brian Williams? Lion Brian, he couldn't, he couldn't, oh, you attacking me because I'm a black woman. No, nigga, you said you was in the war zone, you know, hot, hot, you that hot shit, combat reporter. <laughs> but then there wasn't no, you know, lying. It, it, go, it goes for everybody. You're going to get it. You know, you shouldn't did it. You knew better. You strong black woman. So, yeah, yesterday, uh, she do an interview, and they, 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 Matter of fact, that same channel, he he did that. No, maybe it was somebody else who's a real channel, you know. And uh, nobody's attacking her because of her skin tone. You know, they tried. Remember in the black race, that's why I couldn't understand this color. That he came up with a word, colorism. Like, who? Nobody gives a fuck. You know, seriously, dudes, women. I mean, maybe it's something that they brainwash these new uh, generation girls, oh, colorism, oh, all these young rappers, they always going for light skinned chicks or listen to 50 Cent. You know, he's an East Coast dude. Remember, I've been told you, them niggas on the East is lame. 
been told you that was the whole thing that you know that Tupac didn't like him, even though he lived in Baltimore, New York. You know them. It's just you. They really are like salty. For some reason, they can't. They they like backstabbers to other dudes. They just can't stand to see another dude getting the pussy. See, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something in the water. It's the liberals who run New York, but they turned all them niggas into haters. You know, that only a lame dude. I only fuck with exotics. You know, and, and I'm not saying this to say men are just animalistic. But yeah, basically, you know, white dude, black, nobody you don't give a fuck. If she's attracted, it don't matter if she's black as me or white as that car. He it go all the gambit. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. It, it goes from there to there. So, you know, it's like basically it's like if they... The dude don't like you, it's something else. It's not because you're just trying to use that as a convenient excuse if you're dark skin. Oh, it's because I'm dark skin. They made fun of me when I was younger. I'm pretty sure that was other girls. You know, if the dude was making fun of you when you was younger, you know, just like they they told us, go both ways. He probably liked you. You know, go more than I don't remember too many times sitting in, especially as a teenager, making fun of any girl. You know, ain't no nigga making fun of no girl. You know, unless really there is a reason, you know, you got them was, yeah, just like dudes, they're lame as fuck, you know, maybe she don't watch, you know, seriously, shit like that, but that's rare, but other than that, no, not even hair, not even a girl, like, you know, the other, only other girls talk about that, she ain't got her hair done, we don't, you know, ain't nobody, it ain't even like you trying to dog out, you know, dude might even be trying to seriously date her, wife her up. She ain't got her hair done, but you know, you see, she 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 gets her work, she gets her school work, she might even got a little after school job, but her hair fucked up, you know, whatever. But she's attractive, you know, whatever. Don't nobody don't do that 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 was one of the things they put in, you know, that the, the lame shit. Like, how's this shit taking off? It ain't no dudes, real dudes saying anything like like who talks about it, it uh, that, that that's why we call them these little dudes gay that, with the tight pants and trying to sag a pair of tight pants they're acting like women if they're literally if they're talking about you laughing at you like that especially by high school that nigga is gay <laughs> he, he wants to be you he wants your skin tone you know he wants to be he wants the, the cocoa's caramel skin <laughs> that's i promise you I promise you, I might be old, you know, not that old, but <laughs> that's what that is. I mean, even New York niggas will call them out. You know, they just got lamer jokes. You know, we can see the skid marks. <laughs> like, what the hell type of shit? That means you looking too hard at the little boy with the tight pants sagging him. You know, this, that, this ain't funny, man. You know, basically, just say, nigga, take off them tight ass pants and go get you some, you know, some dickies or some shit. The hell you wear your little brother pants for? You know, hell, those damn nut huggers. Plus, you ain't gonna have no kids. You killing all your sperm. <laughs> them, 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 them damn tight ass pants. Didn't they teach you that in science class? You, that's why your nuts draw up in the when it's cold. And, you know, because they gotta regulate. If you got them tight ass pants on and it's hot outside. See, nigga, you killing all your goddamn sperm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that well, that's the, that's the jokes. That's 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 a real nigga joke. You know, like first of all, you dumb because you ain't even listening to science class. It's like, but I thought y'all didn't like good great. No, you stupid bitch. Like I said, that was the the liberals who told y'all that. Remember, I said we make fun of your dumb ass if you ain't telling your homework yet. I don't care how niggas just got you. Well, your your homie just got shot, which could happen. It did happen in my generation. But you know. By the same token, we laugh at the dumb nigga, you know, or whatever. You late, because you know, with this one teacher, he he shut the door at, at as soon as the bell rang for a fourth period. And if you ain't in there, don't come in. So we laugh at him. We don't, oh, this sucker teacher, you a sucker. You know, we don't, no, we laugh. You, he told you over and over again, if you ain't in here by that bell, don't even come late. Other teachers might let you walk in late, but you know, Mr. Jones, don't play that shit. It's your dumb ass. It, it, that's what we're seeing. That's what we're talking about. Especially me, how they're trying to dumb these people down and making them emotional. And not just blacks, the whites, the, the Antifa, all of them. They're, they're, they're more of them. More of them. You know, they're all emotional. They Want to tear up shit, throwing tantrums. They took all of that shit out. That's what, like I said, that's why they changed. And 
my opinion, not just my opinion, why they changed the rap music. They just basically started promoting and putting money in. You know, probably they didn't even probably didn't even sell as much as we thought. Now that we know it's a program, hell, Joe Soros probably bought all them albums to, you know, or the bought them hits, you know, on the nowadays it's digital, you know, to make these people. That's why a lot of you know now that it's not the virus is that uh, their their money is being cut off. That's what they was having a fit about the Ukraine, cause they was that's where they was funneling the money through. You know, all of that it sorrows just like anybody know. You you don't spend your own money to finance your dream. You spend other people's money. So now that he's really gotta spend his own money, these niggas going broke. They wasn't talented. No, you know, all that they <laughs> That's what I know is happening. That's why they going broke. All of them, even the 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 Migos, them all of them are supposed to be in the top rappers. No, y'all they, you know that shit is bullshit. All of it. You know, Cardi B, you know, waiting on her. They, see, the, the money is cut off. The money is cut off. And like I said, that's how you knew it was bullshit. Like the rest of us, our generation, we didn't look at them as, I want to be like them and I want to be a star and have fancy cars. You like fancy cars because all kids, or at least especially boys, you like cars. What is the first thing you get as a kid? A Hot Wheel. Not even a Hot Wheel because you ain't old enough. You get, you know, that little plastic toy. They give you cars since you was a kid, especially our generation. So that's another thing. How y- y'all, you know, a guy, he's in his 50s, finally can afford a Corvette. Oh, you compensate. I'm like, how in the hell is he compensating? How do you know he didn't like cars before he even knew what his dick was for? What I mean by that, he was five years old. He already liked sports cars. He didn't even know his dick was for fucking. So how is he compensating? He always was, like, a lot of them, they don't even think about that. You know, I don't want and. The type of Corvette that he got now didn't exist unless he buys one from back in the day when he was a kid. You know, I, I like the 1982 version, you know, when I was 10. You know, I'm just saying, uh, you know, uh, uh, some guy right now, you know, I was like five years old in 82. Yeah, yada, yada, he can afford I want to buy that, that. Literally, I'm looking for that 82 model because I was a kid. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't make me mad. I just saying it was more the same thing. The shit that don't make sense. Like, no. The nigga probably, you know, just, yeah, some shit he, he bought there. Or either them, the big Humvees. Oh, what was, when did they be in the 80s? Them big old monster trucks. Bigfoot. And the muscle machines. The big, bad, dirty hand, you know, we like Bigfoot. They're, even the black kids in the hood, you, they like Bigfoot. So that is, oh, you're buying them, you know, the, the liberals. Yeah, you bought that Hummer, that, that gas, and what, what was that problem? Gas, the gas, da, 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 da. you must be overcoming it. And they had the little... They, they, you know, since they're liberal and got money, they had the little girl to try to embarrass the dudes because they got, you know, these chicks. And, and maybe if that dude is weak and he fell for it, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. Anybody else? No, bitch. I always like Bigfoots. You know, it's, it's a Hummer, but I always like Bigfoots. Big feats. Four by fours. I had, you know, the more control Bigfoot. I went crazy when I got a Bigfoot for Christmas. You know, shit. Now I can afford the real one. <laughs> You know, or like I said, it, th- that wasn't the problem. Again, yeah, it was one of them things you can't say nothing because if you do, <laughs> especially, you know, they got the little chicks around and shit like that. Or like I said, a rape case come up and like I said, anybody just tries to let's just ask questions first and see what happens. No, you're a rape sympathy. Everything is something that you literally, yes, yeah, su- suppression, bullied into being quiet and doing their, you know, doing things their way. And all of it, it's like, who thought of this? Because everyone, I can think of a real re- legitimate reason for what th- this person is saying. Like I said, oh, you got that sports car. You must be overcome. No, he more than like the what boy doesn't like, you know, if you don't, you don't. You know, you might be conscious. You might literally want to drive a little car like that. Or you want to drive a big truck or a fast car. And it's literally because you've been brain, not brainwashed, you know, it's not even brainwashed, you boys, you know, you, by the time you fire, you got Hot Wheels, that's what your favorite car, Hot Wheels, up there, yeah, yeah, Hot Mattel, the, what was the Matchbox, you know, and they remote control cars, and radio control cars, and shit like that, and motorcycles, you know, like I'm saying, you know, yeah, if you, especially if you really take the time and maybe go get some training and learn how to drive it, what's happening is, again, yeah, they gave all those lames, them cars, to make videos with, 
and rappers and you know they, all the lanes to make it look lame and Justin Bieber's and all them type of motherfuckers you know to make it look like only douchebags and lanes and douchewads no it, 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 this is, it was all part of the plan and it really is simple you know it was like damn I don't see how people can't see this you know it's like really you know and, and, and they're crashing them you watch the videos crashing you know because like that's where it comes in a lot of it be overseas kids that got money dubai and that's why they crashing these cars right because what we all know the hip-hop does literally rule culture around the world they all want to be like america and they see the video but they don't understand really where hip-hop come from so they don't have the rules we have about not being lame and looking so they think you know it's like that movie with will ferrell you know them two guys uh roxbury you know they're not american but they think they know american slang you know and even you know they even like you know they that that that, that movie is with the two, 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 two. <laughs> and uh it's like that and they end up wrecking these shits instead of just you know learning how to drive it maybe taking a class but uh, by the way, he said that's what I'm saying. Will Ferrell, him and the dude, the other dude, Chris, he's. They said they one of them. They saw that for real. That's what you know. They because they, like I said, that was, that reminded me of the '90s. We said, let me hold, uh, the '90s. That's literally everybody, white boys, all of us. We all thought them them type of dudes was funny. He said he literally saw somebody doing that, and that's where you got that skit from. If you look it up, <laughs> they was in a club doing their head like that, dude, dude. <laughs> just, and I remember that time period and literally I'd be in the club, if I would be in the club, you know, whatever whatever state we're at, wherever we at, you know, we got some time and you see them guys in the nineties that that's what it was. Everybody so everybody would think that. All types, man. We would come together and laugh at them types of dudes. You know, all races would come together and laugh at them. But so anyway, let me uh Go back and uh, get out this heat.